Yeah, I, I like the Muslims. I mean, I think that they have a pretty peaceful religion. They get a really bad rap in the media. Um, but I met a lot of Muslims, and they're you know pretty morally sound for the most part. So you would consider being a Muslim. I don't know enough about their religion. I, I think I'm going to probably read the Quran. Assalamu alaikum. I'm going to go over this interview where Dan Brazilian just did a great job speaking the truth to Patrick Ben David and his audience. Okay. Israel's committed, you know, so many terrorist attacks. They, they're stealing land right now. They're operating apartheid. Um, they're currently committing a genocide on Palestinians. Like, do you believe in the genocide they're committing? I, I think they're fighting for themselves and they're defending themselves. Do you, do you think that's defense? Well, when, when, when 1,200 people died, yeah. of which the 1,200 you've killed and admitted you right. killed a lot during, you know, your hand. After the interview, he said, this interview is probably going to get me killed, but F them because it's the truth. In the interview, he went on to say, I like Muslims. They're peaceful, morally sound people. I, I like the Muslims. I mean, I think that they have a pretty peaceful religion. They get a really bad rap in the media. Um, but I met a lot of Muslims and they're, you know, Pretty morally sound for the most part. He also discussed why are we having men in women's sports? Why are we having men in women's sports? Like it's nonsense. It's utter. Dan spoke out against this crazy propaganda, the programming that all Muslims are terrorists. The idea that all Muslims are terrorists is f But that's what Hollywood is out there. Is like all every bad guy in these movies are always these f hottie terrorists. You know, like they're always the f bad guy. They're not. They're f of the globe. Like a quarter of the globe is Muslim. They're all f bad guys and all terrorists. They're actually like a pretty peaceful religion. Patrick Ben David went on to ask Dan, so would you consider being a Muslim? So you would consider being a Muslim. I don't know enough about the religion. His response, I don't know enough about the religion, but I think I'm going to read the Quran. I, I think I'm going to probably read the Quran. Now, for those that don't know, Dan Bazarian is an American businessman and social media influencer. He's kind of like the modern Hugh Hefner of our time. He's lived a life of hedonism. And from the Muslim that I know who's personally been talking with them, he said what we already know, there's no fulfillment in chasing one's desires. It's a dark hole and he wants to take a new direction in life. May God Almighty Allah guide him to the deen, to Islam. He was asked by Patrick, did Andrew Tate have any influence of you wanting to read the Quran? His response, a little bit. And obviously he went from you know, being a Christian to being a Muslim. Yep. And now he's pretty loud about it. Does he have any influence with you reading the Quran or not really? A little bit. Okay. You know, I mean, he's a smart guy. He's a pretty smart, well-read guy. So I don't think he would take that decision lightly. Um, you can see influential people have influence over influential people. I also want to help give a quick answer to a couple of things that Dan mentioned, a misconception many people have about God needing us to worship him. Like if you were God, would you really need everybody to worship you all the time and tell you how great you were? Did you know that if all of mankind came together to worship God or not worship God, it wouldn't increase him or decrease him in his greatness in the very least. The worship is for us. It's a prescription for success. Worship in Islam is doing everything the Creator wants us to do and staying away from everything that He commanded us to stay away from, doing our best in these things. And this is an act of worship. I want to touch upon this also. Everyone knows what the right thing to do is. I feel like everybody knows what the right thing is to do and just do the right thing. Like, that's my religion. Unfortunately, we don't. If left to our own whims and desires, it's extremely subjective. Just look at the people who he was speaking the truth about and what they're doing. They think they're morally right. And yeah, he lied to us about weapons of mass destruction. We follow these My friends have died over there. Like, you know, and I just look at what they provided us with, and it's it's, it's not nothing. It's like a negative. You know, it's not, even if they just didn't do jack shit, that would be, you know, bad. But they've actually done things to hurt us over and over and over again. So, like, this whole thing of they're our greatest allies is completely good. And, you know, we send them $100 billion and they send APAC $100 million and then they distribute to our politicians and every politician will f back handler walk around and tell them what to say, how to vote. So, we need the guidance. Otherwise, we're fumbling in the dark. And that guidance comes from the creator of the heavens and the earth. Now, I want to end where he said, I don't know enough about the religion. I don't know enough about the religion. I, I think I'm going to probably read the Quran. I want to leave Dan with this it's what makes Islam stand out from all the other man-made religions. And Islam simply means peace acquired by submission to the will of God Almighty, the Creator, Allah. And a Muslim is one who does that action of submitting his or her will to the Creator. And what makes Islam stand out from all the other man-made religions, it's call to pure, absolute monotheism, directing all your prayers and everything else to the one God, to the one Creator. God Almighty Allah doesn't have partners like you do in business. He doesn't have family, son, daughters, or children. To stress the severity in this matter, Allah is saying in the Quran, they say the most compassionate has offspring. You have certainly made an outrageous claim by which the heavens are about to burst asunder and the earth to split apart and the mountains to crumble into pieces in protests of attributing a son, a daughter, children to the most compassionate. It does not befit the majesty of the most compassionate. It does not fit the most compassionate to have a son, to have children. There are plenty of more verses on this in the Quran. You'll find an overwhelming 
amount of evidence in the Quran to prove that is indeed not man-made, but revealed from the Creator of the heavens and the earth. To give you an example, the development of how we started in this life from the human embryo is found in the Quran. As far as it is known from the history of embryology, little was known about the staging and classification of human embryos until the 20th century. For this reason, the descriptions of the human embryo in the Quran cannot be based on scientific knowledge in the 7th, 7th century. The only reasonable conclusion is that these descriptions were revealed to Muhammad from God. He could not have known such details because he was an illiterate man with absolutely, absolutely no scientific training. Muhammad could not have known these facts about human development in the 7th century because most of them were not discovered until the 20th century. Muslims and others are justified in concluding that these facts could only have been revealed to Muhammad by the one known who knows all about us, not only about how we developed, but how we live and function. Other facts, not fiction, mentioned in the Quran that it would be impossible, this is what has blown people away, it'd be impossible for a man who couldn't read or write like Prophet Muhammad to have known these things. It's clearly impossible. Now we don't gamble, but I put my life on it. That's what blew me away, that so many millions who have converted to Islam have seen the same thing. This is a living miracle, the Quran. It's your Creator speaking to you directly. And remember, it's going to take you to guidance if a person is generally and sincerely seeking the truth. If he's a troll, he's playing games, it's going to take you in the opposite direction. So with that said, I want to give a gift to you, to Dan or to anyone else who's out there who would like to read the Quran. And we commend Dan, Dan Bazarian for speaking the truth. Like, do you believe in the genocide they're committing? I, I, I think they're... And being courageous enough to go ahead and speak out, putting his life on the line, like he was saying. Let's pray for him. May God Almighty Allah guide him to the deen, to Islam. And we'd love to give you also a gift, the Quran. Be brave enough, like Dan, who said he's going to read the Quran. He's going to see for himself. Why don't you see for yourself? I don't know enough about the religion. I, I think I'm going to probably read the Quran. The way this man, this courageous man, is about to do. And go to the deanshow.com. I'll get you a copy of the Quran for free. For free. Just go, put in information, we'll get it to you. And if you have any other questions, Call us, 1-800-662-4752. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss videos like this one. We'll see you next time. Until then, peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.